Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another video. In today's video I wanted to show you how you can apply a napkin onto um, any kind of surface, really. It can be a flat surface, it can be a curved surface, anything like that, um, without any tears, creases or anything like that. So in my personal experience this has been the um, one of the best methods of application um, in terms of applying a napkin onto a surface. Now, when I first discovered this method, I was a little bit skeptical <laughs> and it did take me a few tries to, um, to get it right finally, um, to figure out how much pressure to use, um, everything like that. But um, now that I've figured it out, I really wanted to share it with you guys because I think a lot of people might find it helpful. <laughs> As I like to call it, it is a wet method <laughs> of application or a plastic file method. Um, and all you need for this is really some water, um, your decoupage glue, I use Mod Podge, but whatever you use is fine, um, your surface that you're going to be applying your napkin to, your napkin, a uh, plastic folder like this, a brush, um, I again prefer um, a brush like this that has longer bristles and it's not very thick um, in terms of how many bristles there are. So it's a quite thin light brush um, and uh, like a little cloth or a, um, or a tissue or something like that to, to wipe off the water excess. I've already taken off the two layers um, off of my napkin so all I'm left with is the layer that actually has the print on it and so what I'm making is this set of coasters so I'm just going to show you how I do one and for example this set of coasters that I'm working on right now has been done by this exact method and most of my things that I do using napkins nowadays involve this method. So because my surface is going to be covered in the napkin, like all of it is going to be covered, I just use the scissors to cut off the um, a square. And um, of course, if you was going to apply just, you know, one motif off of your napkin or whatever, um, you should tear it out. Um, just so you don't have any like sharp edges. Um, and so so I imagine it's going to go on something like that. So I want the bird to be on pretty much all the way and then just, you know, some of the berries and leaves and stuff. So this is what I imagine it's going to look like. So what I'm going to do, um, and of course these coasters, I've already primed them with um, white acrylic gesso and painted them and also gave them a little sand in just so they are nice and smooth. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pour on some water onto my napkin and I'm being very very generous with the water. You basically want your napkin to float um, in, in the water and so before I start doing anything I make sure that all of it is submerged in water, that it's all covered. I may have applied a little bit too much water because it's folding in on itself. So I'm just going to pick it up like this and just drain off some of the water. Oh. It's always handy to have <laughs> some more um, tissues or rags or anything like that around you because spills are going to happen sometimes. That's life. <laughs> so what I'm doing is I'm just going to, using my fingers, stretch out my napkin like so. It is also important to turn it over. Um, so you want your napkin, when you place it, before you apply any water, you want to place your napkin face down. Because when you're going to be turning it over, you're going to apply it so that it's the right face, the right side up. So I'm just going to, using my fingers, take off any of the creases. I'm not being very gentle here around the edges. It doesn't really matter because I'm not going to use any of the edges. But of course, if you are um, planning to apply the whole thing and leave it as, you know, the whole thing onto your surface, then you might want to be a bit more careful. And then I just take my brush and gently, using my brush, I'm gently holding it on one side 
gently using my brush, I get all of the bubbles out from underneath. Just like this, very, very gently. It's barely touching the surface. And so I'm just getting all of the bubbles out. What I would recommend if you want to try this method, um, start with smaller surfaces and start with, um, with something like what I'm showing here where you can um, just sand off any of the excess just to practice a little bit and it, again just like it did for me it took a few tries for me to um, to understand how much pressure I should be using exactly um, etc and just you know get comfortable with with the application process just like with most things in life you need a bit of practice to get it all going and of course again if you work with napkins you will probably already know that some napkins um, are a bit thinner some are a bit are a bit thicker so napkins vary in quality as well and so of course like this napkin for example um, it's not the best quality it's very very thin and pretty flimsy in itself so um, so you have to be a bit more gentle with it you are more likely to get some kind of tearing in it but it's again it'll take a bit of practice but once you get there I promise you that you will enjoy this application method just as much as I do well I hope anyways and so I'm just getting all of the bubbles out now that all of them are out um, I'm gonna pick up my file and again just kind of fold it in on itself so that all of the water gathers in the middle and I'm just going to drain off the excess back into my little cup here where I spilled some water earlier I'm just going to wipe it all off so that it doesn't soak my little coaster from the from the other end I'm just going to place it back down now and using my little napkin so this is like a microfiber cloth type thing that you can get for your kitchens um, that I have here I again very very gently dab my napkin just to get get it a little bit drier and again it helps to get all of the creasing out before you apply it what I like about this method is that it is um, well it is very easy it produces really good results and it also does not produce as much waste as um, as the cling film method for example because after I've done this I don't need to take a brand new piece of plastic um, or cling film or whatever I can just reuse this infinite <laughs> amount of times and if it gets a little bit dirty I can give it a wash and then I can keep using it same with this cloth for example you know I'm only soaking up water with it so I can um, just wrench it out and then keep using it until um, until it's completely gone <laughs> so, um, so that's what I really like about this method is that it helps us reduce our waste when we're creating things right so now um, again just gonna wipe this off and then I place my coaster and now I position my napkin where I want it to be and as you can see it is flexible until you have removed your plastic sheet you can move it freely so um, you can move it as, as many times as you want um, to make sure that it is in the right spot for you and you're happy with the positioning it is better for um, for the napkin to be a little bit oversized again that's why I'm saying it is best um, if you are new to this method it is best to to practice on pieces like this like coasters or something like that where you have um, a reasonable amount of excess napkin that stays you know on the um, that hangs over the edges of your piece until you get used to it but then once you're used to it you can then practice with because the removal of the napkin off of the file is the 
is the hardest part of this. So then I just take a, uh, an old plastic card and I again gently um, kind of just rub it over over my um, plastic sheet, getting any excess water or bubbles or anything like that out. And now I pick up my file. What I'm doing here is I'm just pressing down my napkin onto my table. So that way it is, it, it kind of just sticks onto the table and it's, it makes it easier to remove, to remove the plastic sheet off of the, off of the napkin. And then I just gently roll it off while also just kind of holding it on with my fingers to make sure that it doesn't, um, so that the napkin doesn't stick onto the uh, plastic folder and start following it. And that is it. Now, um, so there you go. Perfect application. No creases, no nothing. And so while it's still wet, I just kind of gently rip off all of the bits that are dangling off. I'm not worried about it being perfect at the moment because once it's all dry, once I've applied my glue and it's dry, I can just sand the edges off like you would normally. And then I take my glue. And a new brush. Dip it in water a little bit. Pick up my glue. And then again, it is important to be gentle. That's the most <laughs> important thing in application of, of a napkin in decoupage. And I apply a nice sort of relatively thick layer of my glue onto here. And so this produces no creases, no bubbling like you sometimes get in the um, in the hot method when you use an iron. It, it does help you get, get the napkin all nice and flat, but um, I find that sometimes I will still, once I go to seal it, if it's not stuck down properly or something, there will, um, there will be bubbles. So this produces no bubbles or anything like that. Um, so now I've applied my glue and that's it. I leave it to sit. Once it's, um, once it's dry, I'm just going to sand off the edges and decorate the back, just blend off the edges, make a little frame and that will be it. And so, yeah, that is my <laughs> currently favorite method to use to apply napkins. I hope that you have found this helpful again. Um, if you are new to this, then um, start by um, by doing simple projects like this. They are very easy and something a little bit smaller, like coasters. Um, I have tried this method on um, applying like a whole big napkin onto um, a wooden letter, and it worked pretty pretty fine. But the removal of the napkin um, was a little bit difficult. Um, because um, because of the curves in the in the letter and the different stretching and and everything like that, so I had a couple of rips. So it might not be the best for um, for really really big pieces, but for uh, there's no reason why you can't do the same on a curved surface. So you would just apply your napkin, you know, onto a bottle like so, and then again remove it. Um, yeah. So in general, um, I hope that you <laughs> have found this helpful and let me know if you have any questions, suggestions, anything like that um, in the comment section down below. If you would like to see more of me, there's links in the description below, all of my social media pages, um, also my Etsy page. Be sure to check it out and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.